What's going on, you guys? Welcome to episode three of Starting Over. And yeah, the title says it all. This episode is literally a game changer. And you guys are gonna see why uh, with what we're gonna actually open today. And first and foremost, I gotta give a huge shout out to my brother, Kobe Short. He's a YCS champion and he's also the homie. He's a fan of the channel and he really did hook it up big time. As you guys know, the whole part point of this series has been to show you guys how to start over. If you're like me, you sold your whole collection and you need to rebuild your staples, rebuild some deck cores, you need to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, returning to Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch, you know, shout out to, you know, shout out to Ruggles, shout out to uh, Revs, you know, shout out to Gage, shout out to Pack. you guys already know, I'm showing you guys how to ball on a budget, how to get, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a bu on a budget, sealed only, we're open and sealed product, and it's really been amazing, and I appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, this episode, though, is really special because Kobe really did hook it up. Thanks to him, we were able to show you guys what we're going to be opening today that's going to just change everything, meaning that it's going to give me more staples. It's also going to give me the potential to have another deck core and also possibly play a new deck you guys will actually see my dark world deck from the 250th ycs uh, in the next clip now i know uh the 250th, 250th ycs has passed i went over the list and the changes that i would make and i'm going to keep you guys updated as i continue to play dark world since you guys really like to see me playing dark world if you saw my short over on the channel i also showed you guys a very quick rundown of the deck but i'm gonna go more in depth here in this episode and just some other things thank you like thank you guys so much for the support it's really been amazing uh like i've said if you guys do want to support the channel i do i have reactivated my patreon the link is down below I'm going to be hosting raffles with everyone involved and you guys are basically going to vote on what we open. You guys are going to vote on how we can con continue our collection and then I'm going to enter you guys into a raffle to also give away prizes to you guys. It's going to be like dragon shield sleeves. It's going to be mats, like anything I can get from my sponsors. I'm going to try to give away to you guys because you know I really appreciate the support. Uh, your support can start as low as a dollar. It can go as high as I don't even remember what the tier is. I really don't put high tiers. I don't want anything back. Uh, I just appreciate anyone that, anyone that wants to support the channel and everyone has been asking me slim can we just give you cards as of right now i'm still going to say no the reason why i'm saying no is i don't think that that's fair for this series if people just hand me cards to get back into the game however i'm going to reevaluate that in more of a sense of i don't want people to give me cards if people will actually you know if stores or anyone i know will trade me product if they will trade me cards and we can do the trades you know on video for the series then i'm all open to that if you guys want to see that please let me know comment down below should i be showing my trades live just so that you guys can see it just so you guys can see who's involved who's trading me what so that i can rebuild you know my collection and start getting more staples i think that that's really the best thing for this series i think that it just wouldn't be fair as much as i appreciate you guys wanting to give me cards and stuff i think it's just not the ideal thing i think that if i trade for them if i you know purchase product from uh, locals and stuff like that i think that's really the best way to do it it shows that we're balling on a budget it shows that we're starting over it shows that we're doing everything from scratch and it shows that we have an appreciation for sale only product so hopefully that all makes sense uh that's pretty much just a synopsis of what today's episode is going to be i'm excited to showcase dark world for you guys i'm ex more excited to open you know the product for you guys thanks to my brother kobe and you guys will really enjoy it i think that uh this will show you guys just what you can do with the budget now the budget for this series i really haven't said it i'll just tell you right now it's all under 50 dollars. like everything is under 50 dollars. i bought the three trap trick structure decks that was like 30 dollars. the dark world decks one of them got handed to me and then i got the other two that was basically like 20 bucks um the uh, what is it the albaz deck same thing like everything is under 50 bucks so i think for the rest of this series maybe we'll keep the budget at under 50 dollars uh every episode or something like that if you guys think that's a good idea again comment below i really want your guys's feedback on this episode since this is the third episode i just really want to show you guys you know i know we had the highlights of the 250th ycs but now i really want to get back into the series and just doing things you know at home and just you know showing you guys how if we go to locals and stuff like that or we go to the stores to get our product how we can really just build our collection back but yeah that's pretty much everything you guys appreciate all of you check all the links down below if you guys want to contact me all my social media is down there i'll appreciate any feedback and trust me i want the feedback i want you guys to contribute to this series it really does mean a lot and we can just make this series better for everyone involved and i'm really thankful to all of you that have been uh you know giving me positive feedback and i'm also grateful to anyone that this series is inspiring because it really is humbling to go from having almost everything i'm not going to sit here and lie like i didn't have every card i needed in Yu-Gi-Oh, to starting over from scratch and you know it's a really cool feeling ash blossoming with the common ash blossom is still ash blossoming a card 
and it feels pretty damn good. Well, let's hop into the Dark World deck profile, you guys. It's been years since I profiled Dark World, and let me tell you, as you guys can see in my face, I'm beyond excited. Let's hop into it. All right, you guys. Here's the deck that I did run for the 250th YCS. I did run Dark World. You guys already know. If you actually saw my latest short, I did a quick rundown of the deck, but I didn't really explain my choices. But a lot of this stuff doesn't need explanation. What I do want to tell you guys about is the changes I would make, but things that would stay the same. So, of course, three copies of Rainbow. The new Rainbow card is crazy. It searches your Silva and Grappa. That's just insane. And then there was three copies of Genta. This is literally the best support card the deck has gotten in ages. This literally is just insane being able to search gates being able to recycle it being able to special summon it when you banish it is just crazy it just makes gates absolutely nuts snow is obviously still the best one searching all your cards you got two copies of silva one copy of grappa one thing i would change is i would probably play a second copy of grappa i feel like it's necessary the extra body is important popping a monster is important and just having that recursion of being able to bounce silva into rainbow rainbow into grappa is crazy and then of course you just need one Cerulee to do the hand loop combo uh three gates that's just standard you could even play two honestly because of all the genta interaction but three if you just want it uh, to see it consistently and then just uh, one copy each of the archives and the ascension to fusion some of the big graph and then of course for the extra discard outlets the cards crazy and i put card destruction over here because it's the most broken dark world card ever printed my danger lineup i was pretty happy with it three nessie and three mothman is pretty standard they really are the best ones this is like a dark world dealings this can literally search you any danger you need i then played two copies of bigfoot uh going forward i'll probably play a third one over this thunderbird this was honestly the worst card in my deck i'll talk about that when i get to it but i would play a third bigfoot because it actually does answer the rise heart pass play so that is really important also being a 3000 beater and a level eight for our extra deck is important i then had two copies of chupacabra the benefit of this one is it's actually a fiend so at worst even though it doesn't have the best discard effect you can actually just normal summon it to help make your rank fours and you can also use it with gate so that is important then of course jackalope because it's, it can special any of the dangers whichever one you need for the current situation thunderbird was ass that's it it's weaker than bigfoot it does nothing to rise heart pass yeah i'm taking this card out this card sucked <laughs> nothing else to say i did play three lava golem going forward i might swap these out for the kaijus that i actually have here in the side deck i have three radiant in the side deck i'll probably end up changing that down the line this card's really good the reason i did play it uh, if you notice i played this and i played the trade-ins these are cards i might change in the future the lava golem was good because honestly if you go rise heart pass against this deck we do have uh, a couple ways to out it and if we do out it uh you know it just really did nothing you're better off trying to lock our zones and even if you lock our zones we can just lava golem you so that's why we played it it's also a fiend under gates and a level eight for trade-in so it had that synergy and then as you guys can see the allures of the trade-ins that's all just standard stuff that's just turboing through the deck and it's just a clean 40 cards honestly i really liked it a couple changes i would make i'll keep you guys updated as the series continues now do note uh i do own the dark world cards i do own uh, the danger cards but this stuff is just really like this is just the deck i play at events i don't actually own all these cards so just just know uh, you'll see some cards missing here in the side deck this is just my deck when i play the ycs's this has nothing to do with starting over outside of the dark world core and then the stuff to make the deck happen but uh, this deck is extremely budget, by the way. Just just know that. The main deck is literally nothing. You can get lower rarity Nessies. I just wanted Ultras, and luckily my sponsor was able to hook them up. But again, these are cards you can just get. They give you the dangers in the structure deck, and you can just go from there. And all these cards literally have like common reprints or come from a structure deck extra deck i played two grappa i don't really know if that's necessary i did it because i was just scared if the uh if they decided to like what is it mine hacker one away that's fine honestly they should hit muttcracker this card is like the best extra deck card ever you always want to end this in griffin on your end board it's pretty nuts akashic that's just standard that's just to bounce cards uh one card that's not in here that should be in here is security dragon i tested with it after the event that card is for sure going in this extra deck i'm gonna make some changes uh for sure might cut the second grappa for it I don't really know if it's necessary cross shapes really cool just a generic link too to link your guys off and it also can uh can get you some cool effects when you uh when you fusion some of the grappa so that's cool all the nightmares these are the best cards ever especially going second you just break every board ending on griffin game one is insane you co-link the griffin with the mutt cracker you draw a card you set a card a lot of times you try to just set like another gate or set something to keep you going next turn a lot of decks have a hard time answering this special summon monsters can't activate their effects unless they're linked yeah this card's nuts so i usually draw cards if we're really in a bind i only summon it when i'm really running out of lo running low on fuel or looking for a specific card to loop all their hand but other than that the card is just here it's fine we don't play appalooza it's just not necessary the end board with griffin 
just seems so much better and so much stronger. On to the uh, XYZs, of course, we have Dugaris. We always go into this card. Baguska, if we're in a tight spot. Exiton, if they get greedy and we can just run the board over. And then we play Giant Trainer. This card is nuts. It, it is kind of a gamble card. If they do impermit or hit it, it does kind of suck. But this card is awesome. Draw three. Burn them sometimes for 2400. This card's nuts. And then I played Zombie Vampire for the ability to mill and then special. This card's okay. I might change it for Hope Harbinger or Zombie Stein. I just need a better negate, honestly. That's the honest truth behind it. So like I said, you'll see changes in this main and extra over time. And then of course I gotta show you guys my bounty badge from YCS Niagara and then my two tokens. You already know my brother Johnny. Always got those. Those cards. Those are just, those are the, these are the best cards in the deck. <laughs> and then my side deck. Ash was generic. It was for uh, branded fusion, honestly. And when I would loop their hand, a lot of times they would scoop. And since Silva puts the cards back in the deck, you don't actually know what your opponent is playing. So you really don't know what to side. So I would honestly just side out uh, three of my cards, like some of my duplicate dangers and then literally just side in three ash just in case i didn't know it was the most generic card in my side deck i also cited triple radiant again this card can make it to the main deck it is a fiend for gates it is a dark for allure uh and this card just answers rise heart pass so very good a uh, back row hate i had two cosmic one harpy's feather duster and these two blanks here were two eevs that i was borrowing so shout out to my boy pete appreciate it yeah i i don't have eevs the old structure deck had them the new structure deck doesn't we gotta hunt those down pretty crazy one call by the grave this was just for going first and three skill drain these are my cards going first i felt that these were the best cards cards i do want to implement in here eventually is going to be gamma and driver i think that that would be really good to answer droll and lockbird so that's just something i've been thinking but that's the deck just in general you guys let me know what you guys think like i said i'm gonna make changes and i'll keep you guys updated on this part of the series this is just my main deck that i play at events and locals and stuff like that so this will just be something we'll be working on throughout the time but i know you guys wanted to see it and hopefully you guys did enjoy and yeah it just feels awesome to play dark world again after all these years so you all have been patiently waiting to find out what is this game changer you keep talking about slim why is the title of this episode a game changer well shout out to my boy kobe again i'm about to show you guys what that game changer is and you guys should not be surprised. It is the Crystal Breeze structure deck that he was kind enough to send me. Knowing that, he actually sent me three of them. They're actually in here. It's all sealed. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, shout out to you, Kobe. I really appreciate it, bro. This structure deck is a game changer for multiple reasons. Some of the cards in here will actually blow your mind if you're not familiar with these structure decks. The reprints have been insane. There's so many good cards that we can add to our arsenal. And if we wanted, with these structure decks alone, we easily could make a Crystal Beast deck as well. And that's something we may do in the future. But for you guys, what I'm going to do now is just crack it open. And I know he taped this pretty well, so this might be a little harder, but we'll see. And we're actually going to go through the main cards. I'll show you guys one of the decks, and then we can actually uh, talk about what the main cards are in here that you want to, that you actually want to uh, get uh, out of this deck to actually help with the overall, uh, you know, just your overall staples and whatnot. So yeah, there you guys go. There's three of the decks. They're all sealed. So this is still technically sealed only. You guys already know we're only going to be using sealed products. So again, shout out to my boy Kobe. And I'm just going to show you guys what we want in here as far as the staples go, and then I'm going to show you guys exactly what uh what actually becomes of the decks because there is a lot of good stuff in here i think the decks are really cool just for the fact that these structure decks these days have really been just providing like better and better cards i feel like you can build a much better uh like just much better like utility boxes much better binders like you can actually just start over again like that was kind of one of the main inspirations for this series was just the fact that i can literally get sealed only product and i can literally start over from scratch like i'm not even trying to build a deck but the structure deck literally make it to where you can which is absolutely crazy so if i can learn to open this so one thing you should know about me i do not open a lot of products so that's also a new thing for me i don't open a lot of products so bear with me while i struggle like a madman i think we got it there we go we're not gonna open the other ones for obvious reasons because we literally suck at it but we'll just show you guys some of the cards rainbow dragon the ultimate rainbow dragon fusion crystal beast uh, rainbow dragon rainbow bridge of the heart crystal bond uh, rainbow uh what was it rainbow over dragon and then you've got some cool tokens here you've got the jesse anderson of course from gx uh, already about all that then of course the old crystal beast card you've got the what is it the carbuncle the cat the tortoise the tiger the mammoth the cobalt eagle sapphire pegasus rainbow dark dragon uh, crystal master crystal keeper haman that's cool here's one of the main cards they actually gave you the walking macrocosmos that is dimensional shifter i cannot believe this got a reprint in the structure deck this card is insane i'm gonna put this to the side they also gave us contact c that's crazy like trust me this card has been good in and out of formats definitely a great card to add to our utility and definitely something we want to focus on 
another ash blossom uh we're actually gonna have six ash blossoms that's crazy you know what that means we have trade fodder this this was one of the main reasons i wanted this deck ghost bell and haunted mansion is one of the best hand traps comes in and out of formats has an interaction with cards that not a lot of other de uh, not a lot of other hand traps do and i think this card is amazing then you've got more crystal beast cards you have awakening you have the the aegis you've got the field spell rainbow bridge crystal beacon crystal blessing crystal abundance crystal promise crystal tree crystal release rare value rainbow uh, refraction advanced dark this is a really cool melody of the awakening dragon i remember when these cards were when it was the super rare and it was money trying to play blue eyes back in like 2016 this is another good pickup foolish burial goods i think that's super important uh crystal boom and boom we got cosmic cyclone in this as well this is actually crazy we're going to talk about all this later on in the next clip but this is just show you guys the rest of the cards you got the miracle the brilliance the pair the conclave the crystal magic the counter gem ferret flames metaverse this is actually another cool card i think i'll actually put that over there they actually gave us a crystal beast token which i didn't even know exists that's crazy and of course play master duel by the way if you guys want to see me play master duel in this series or just in general i might start streaming it let me know i have spent zero dollars on master duel if you're spending money I, I don't know what you're doing unless you're like super duper competitive trying to go to worlds for master duel and you for some reason don't know how to craft cards and don't know how to get the most bang for your buck but i've literally spent zero dollars and played this game it's been pretty crazy but yeah now i'm gonna go into a full analysis i'm gonna crack the other decks open i'm gonna show you guys the real pickups from this deck and then show you guys an updated inventory of what we have here in our series starting over all right you guys with the decks now open i'm going to show you guys the main cards that i took out of here that i think are just awesome for our staple box i'm also going to give you guys an updated staple box so you see how far we've come since episode one i know this is only episode three if anyone knows me i i grind i want to get product i want to start building my collection as fast as possible and i want to do it in the most budget friendly uh way i can just to teach you guys how to get back into this game and show you guys that it's not impossible to do you just really have to know what products to get it always pays to ask the opinions of others that's why i really look forward to you guys contributing to the series by providing the type of product you think i should be investing in and yeah we'll just go from there so from these three crystal uh, crystal beast structure decks again shout out to my brother kobe for sending them to me uh this is what i picked out as the best cards that we're adding to our collection so of course 3d shifter it's literally macrocosmos this card is crazy if i was playing flunder which technically i could because you actually don't need an extra deck to play flunder because you literally can play the build that topped the 250th ycs and then you never actually get ripped by diabolos and zone lock like that that was cool don't know if i'll do that but you have common d shifter now which is awesome uh yeah and i don't need prosperity because i literally do not have an extra deck so that's cool i'm adding the ashes in here now now you guys are going to see we have six ashes but uh yeah we started with zero ashes and we now have six which means we could put them either in two different decks or we could literally have these as trade fodder which is something you'll see eventually on the channel so very cool one of my favorites to get three bell uh funny fact this was like the last hand trap in my actual collection that i had picked up i was really uh, late to the party on this card i wasn't so sure on this card the more i tested it this card was crazy it came in and out of formats and this was really good just catching really crazy effects that you wouldn't think it would also uh just being you know a tuner it like came up in other random decks and stuff like that so yeah this was just awesome i'm super happy to have this wait till you guys see like the hand trap collection we've amassed already it's nuts and then i know this card isn't that popular right now but there was a time that contact c was crazy you just dropped it against certain decks and they couldn't play because they weren't able to use uh they weren't able to uh, what is it fusion synchro xyz or link summon unless they use this card so yeah this was this was very very cool for closing that down so those are the main monsters that we took out of the deck now obviously nothing against crystal beast i didn't want to include any of those because if we do build the deck then you guys will see the core from the deck and i think that's really cool the main focus of this is just focusing on the stable cards that come in these new revamp structure decks to give you like real Yu-Gi-Oh cards that you actually want another cool addition was three cosmic cyclone this is just a great Great back row removal card really good against runic i love runic but yeah you hit fountain with this this card is crazy just being able to banish pro problematic cards this was really good against tier hitting their field spell banishing it so they never get it back literally hitting like any of the trap cards was crazy just good against back row decks in general banishing the problem was always more beneficial the thousand life points really didn't matter unless you were close to time now these are just the awkward cards so i'm, I'm still including these though because these are generic spell cards uh, three foolish burial goods now you may be thinking what, what is it even good for now yeah it's not the greatest card in the world it does send 
send a spell or trap from your deck to the graveyard. You could send Metal Fellowship Fusion to draw. You could send the crystal, what was it, the other trap card that didn't come in the deck. That was frustrating, I have to admit. The Rainbow Bridge, the one of Salvation or whatever it's called. Yeah, you could send that. Then you can search a field spell card. So yeah, this card has utility. It's not the greatest card in the game, but it's definitely something I wanted to include as still part of the staples. Just because, you know, it is a generic spell card and we can use it as opposed to a lot of other cards. And lastly, three metaverse. Am I going to use this card? I have no clue. There was a time where having this at three was absolutely broken. It was probably when Mystic Mind was around. Will Mystic Mind come back? I sure as hell hope not. But if it does, we have three metaverse. And then this card will probably go back to one. And this will literally be pointless. But very cool to have three metaverse. I consider it a, gen a generic trap. It is just a regular trap card. You can trap trick for it, which we did get in the, the uh, what was it? We ended up getting three trap trick in the trap trick structure deck. So, I mean, there's options there. No idea if I'll use it, but I wanted to include it anyway. And lastly, you guys, I want to show you guys my updated utility box. Uh, those of you have seen this box before, I've had this box for like ever. Like, this is like crazy. And yeah, shout out to Ed. Hi, Ed. I just wanted to shout out Ed. So I actually have it here, you guys, divided into three sections, monster spells and traps. And then shout out to Dragon Shield, you already know, best sponsor. We're all, we're still using the peach sleeves on all these cards. I think they look really nice, but I'm going to show you guys, yeah, there's what it looks like. I'm going to just show you guys what we've amassed so far. So you guys can see how far we've come with our collection, and I think it's very, very cool. So in addition to the cards you just saw, I'm also going to show you guys how far we've come. We've still got another set of Ash Blossoms, Effect Veilers, and Ghost Ogres, and we're adding in D Shifters and the Ghost spell so we're getting there it's absolutely crazy we're also adding to our contact seas we have our retaliating seas so i think that's very cool as well and then another thing that i love is that we have a lot of kaijus now i only wish gamma seal was actually included in one of these decks maybe one day it will be but as you guys can see we have all these and then i also do have three radiant those are actually in my dark world deck so that's why you don't see them here but we literally have 12 kaijus which is crazy so yeah radians just in the dark world deck so don't worry it's, it's just being used right now for testing purposes but but yeah, we have a bunch of kaijus, and I think that's awesome. And then in our spell cards, now we don't have that many spell cards, but don't worry, give it time, it'll get better. We have the three Dark Ruler, this is just the best card ever, just shuts off a whole board. The three Raigeki to clear boards. The three Pot of Extraps, I don't know when we'll ever use this, but I wanted to throw it in there. This card used to be like so much money per copy, and this is literally like a pot of greed. Like this card is crazy. And then I still have the Gold Sark and the call, the Harpy's Feather Duster, the Call by the Grave. All of that is in the Dark World deck, uh, in the side deck. That's why you're not seeing those cards right now. But those are other cards we do have. So that's our spell lineup that we've built up. And lastly, we have our traps. And I'm sure you guys remember these. Uh, but just to show you guys again, the three evenly. The three dimensional, uh, well, three uh, dimensional barrier. These, these are just crazy traps to have. I still can't believe from structure decks I have these cards. Like it just is blows my mind. Like literally, the reason why this series is insane is because. It didn't cost us a lot of money, and we're getting some of the best cards ever. I used to have these in Secret Rare, the highest rarity, and now I have them in Common and Super, and they do the same damn thing, and it's awesome. Three Trap Trick, like I said, can get us a bunch of normal traps. That's just awesome, like the two traps I just showed you. I shall always show this. I think this has always been a good removal card. Very, very strong. One of the best Paleozoics. And then ending it with Waking the Dragon and Warning Point. Just good traps that we may be able to potentially use in the future. And again, all searchable off trap trick in addition to all these new awesome cards that we've added and that's just showing you guys how one at one additional structure deck can really be game breaking can really be the game changer as the title says and really just progress us forward with our collection but now we're just going to do a wrap up and call episode three and there you have it you guys episode three is in the books it really was a game changer shout out again to my brother kobe for providing the decks uh, for us today I think we're starting to amass a hell of a collection and I'm super proud. I think this series has got a long, uh, you know, long way to go, but there's a lot of places we can go. I think the, you know, visiting trading, I think uh, deciding on the next products we're going to get, I think updating deck profiles, possibly building some of these budget deck profiles just to show you guys uh, who are really on a budget that you can still play competitively uh, for a fraction of the price and still see success. I think we've got a lot of avenues we can explore. I think we can go to uh, try to find some locals we can try to go some regionals we can do a lot of different things and just incorporate them here in this series but so far i'm really happy with the results and again a shout out to all you guys who have been supporting the the series since it started i know we're only on episode three we've already made a big dent in rebuilding a collection uh, we do have a good amount mass of cards but there are still plenty more cards that we do need to track down and eventually get there's a lot of staple cards that you need in this format especially with the new sets coming out purely is going to be a hell of a deck uh, there possibly will be a ban list we'll probably do a ban list prediction sooner or later and there's just 
just a lot of things that are going to happen. It'll be really interesting how it affects the series. Now, for now, I just want to focus on, you know, continuing to build the collection, keeping our, uh, you know, keeping our options open for as far as the best product we can get and just really deciding what we want to do moving forward. But again, please comment down below with the things I asked in the earlier scenes. If there are things that you think would help contribute to this series, if you think, uh, you know, trading is the way to go, if you think, um, you know, collaborating with other, you know, content creators or collaborating with other players to get uh, cards is another thing to do. Just let me know and I'll really look into it and try to make the series even better. But I'm super happy with what we've done, you guys. And like I say in every episode, it started with that first step. We're now beyond that first step. We're into the third episode and I think the sky is the limit and I can't wait to see what we do next. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button if you did and I will see you guys in the next episode. Everyone take care.